Are you planning on going on hiking and you want to bring with you your CRT and your favorite retro console? Today we are going to take a look at two different field monitors for you to bring with you when you are hiking and camping. So this one is the JVC TM600 model and this one over here is the Sony PVM6041 QM. This one is called uh, PVM5041 QM in uh, the States, uh, but it's called 6041 QM. So I think that this one are uh, branded as six inch PVMs in, uh, in Europe, but five inch PVMs in uh, the States. But they are basically the same model. I think it got something to do with how they uh, measure the inches uh, between the uh, United States and Europe. Uh, kind of confusing. Confusion of the highest order. So since these both are uh, field monitors, uh, they are very easy to carry with you. They got handles. This one is a bit more plastic while this one is thicker and uh, more heavy duty. Uh, this JVC model is a bit lighter than the PVM. They both have these stands so you can just easily flip it out and uh, you get a nice uh, viewing angle. The same with the Sony PVM, you just bring it out. So both are basically the same size, they both have these stands, uh, carrying handles, both are field monitors. So let's dig deeper and see how they differ from each other. So let's begin uh, with the JVC monitor. As you can see, it have uh, B and C inputs. Um, it got two different inputs, uh, while the audio uses the RCA inputs. It got external sync down here, and you can hook up your AC power cord here, or you can also use uh, the DC uh, input. Uh, over there. On the side it got the battery compartment. We open it up over there. I don't know what these are doing here. So in here you slide in your battery if you want to take this monitor with you out in the in the field or when camping. Uh, this model uses the 12 uh, volt uh, NECAD battery. Uh, I don't have any battery for this one to try it out, but um, supposedly they are not too difficult uh, to find. So a 12 volt NECAD uh, battery for this one. There are also some adjustments you can do here by using a screwdriver, but you need a really thin small screwdriver uh, to be able to adjust the, the settings, the image settings, uh, by using these holes here. Okay, so this is Ridge Racer on the PlayStation 1. Um, let's take a closer look at the knobs over here. Uh, we have a knob for contrast, you have the knob for brightness, chroma, phasing. And this monitor also got internal speakers, so you can adjust the volume. So that's quite cool. So you get internal speakers here. You have uh, you can switch between inputs. As I mentioned, uh, you can um, use two inputs at the same time. 
Uh, you can switch uh, under scan, uh, black and white, uh, the sync over here, and as well as um, switching between PAL or NTSC. Uh, this uh, PlayStation I'm using over here is a Japanese PlayStation, so I've pressed this button to, to use the NTSC. So that's quite cool, it supports both PAL and NTSC. And you also get the plug here for um, earphones, so you can hook up your earphones. So that's quite basic, not bad. This is, as I mentioned, composite. It's a bummer it doesn't use uh, RGB, but I think it still looks decent. So let's fire up a map and see how it performs. As you can see, there is one issue with this uh, monitor. Uh, as you can see, the top lines of text is not visible. So the top uh, lines of the image are off. The viewing area. You get the whole image by pressing the underscan uh, button. But as you can see, you get uh, large borders around the image. So it doesn't actually really fix it. It kind of fixes it, but not the way we want to. Maybe we have to open up the monitor or maybe we have to use any of these um, internal knobs, internal screws within this monitor to adjust uh, the uh, viewing area. So yeah, so a bit of a bummer, but still I think this JVC monitor, this field monitor is uh, doing its job you get a decent uh, composite uh, image uh, it's quite cool with the internal speaker okay so let's have a look at the sony pvm 6041 qm um, let's have a look at the back first instantly we noticed that this monitor uh, got something which the other one didn't have this one got inputs for uh, RGB so you get RGB and component you also get uh, standard composite um, apart from that it looks quite similar to the JVC monitor uh, there are two ways to power it up three ways um, you can use uh, normal AC in, you can use the DC 12 volt uh, and you can also use the battery socket here and plug in a, a battery pack. So this is the battery uh, this monitor is using. I believe it's the same one, yeah it's the same one as the JVC monitor. So this is the uh, 12 volt uh, NECAD uh, battery pack. I haven't tried out this one because uh, as a matter of fact I haven't tested out this monitor that much. So I haven't tried to see if this battery still works. So let's have a try out it. On the front here we have a few knobs. We have knobs for uh, brightness, uh, chroma, facing, contrast and volume as well. So this monitor also got internal speakers. 
we have a few buttons here for the for the different lines we can switch between rgb composite we can uh, uh, switch the underscan uh, it also got something called blue only if you only want to watch uh, uh, blue content i suppose something about hv delay so i believe a horizontal or vertical delay let's check it out when we power it on since this monitor is supporting uh, rgb we can use um, a bnc scott breakout cable So instantly we can see that the image on this is uh, far brighter and uh, more colorful. So let's try up the volume. Yeah, maybe speakers are uh, of decent quality in this monitor as well. I would say they are about the same quality as the GVC monitor. But yeah, the biggest difference is obviously the, the colors and the sharpness. Yeah, so this is uh, RGB on the Sony PVM 6041QM. Uh, I think it looks quite good. I mean, it's far better than uh, the JVC model uh, when it comes to colors and uh, clarity and brightness. You could tell instantly when I booted up the PlayStation that the white splash screen you get uh, on the PlayStation intro uh, was uh, whiter, brighter and more colorful so yeah let's check out some of these uh, buttons and knobs so this one is the line button you get the horizontal vertical delay over there I don't know as I mentioned what does what that does do but uh, I have to check the service manual Blue only it says here, but this one actually switches over to um, black and white. And the under scan button, as you can see over here, it um, same as on the JVC monitor. You can switch uh, the under scan. But on this one, as you can see, the, the, the whole image is um, being shown here. The top uh, lines on the GVC monitor was being shown, so you couldn't see that it said time and position over there. But on this monitor, uh, we get the whole viewing area. Uh, another thing, I remember, I believe this monitor also supports uh, uh, 16 by 9. Yeah, over there. Uh, so 
here is the switch for between RGB and component uh, and there over there is the switch for 16 by 9 so if you want to use 16 by 9 uh, we can do that as well yeah now so now when I press that button we get 16 by 9 viewing area so this is quite cool additional feature on this monitor you can switch between 4x3 and 16 by 9 okay so here's a direct comparison between the composite on the JVC monitor and the RGB on the Sony PVM monitor